Let's take our song books to page number 153 tonight. Page number 153, he is able to deliver thee. Page number 153 in your song books tonight. Page number 153. Page number 153. Page number 153. Tis the grandest thing through the ages. Tis the grandest theme for a mortal tongue. Tis the grandest theme that the world e'er sung. Our God is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. He is able to deliver thee. Though my sin oppressed go to him for rest, our God is able to deliver thee. Tis the grandest theme. all stand tonight. We'll open the service in prayer and have a time of handshaking here in just a little bit. Heavenly Father, we're so grateful that you're able to deliver us and Lord, that you're able to keep us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for that tonight. Lord, be at the uh, service tonight, God. Be at the singing, Lord, here in a little bit again. Lord, be at the preaching of your word tonight. Be at each prayer request will be mentioned either verbally or silently, Lord, tonight. We just thank you, Lord, for Wednesday nights. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we can come to your place, Lord, and and a refuge, Heavenly Father, and Lord, to get strength and encouragement from. We love you tonight, and now we thank you again for the blood of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Turn around and welcome folks to church tonight.
take our song books to page number 251, Near the Cross. Page number 251. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Number 251. Number 251. Number 251. Jesus, keep me near. women only. I'll start you out, ladies. Near I think you are preaching for us tonight. You come right ahead and, and uh, tonight and just pray for him while he preaches. And he gets done preaching. Well, we'll have our prayer, prayer time tonight. I thank you for being here. I thank God for being here. Amen. Amen. Now, listen, we are having counseling service and ice cream for parents of children that are in Alaska. <laughs> I think we're going to have <laughs> I'm just teasing you. You'd be all right. <laughs> Lord, I come for you this evening, Lord. Lord, please guide me, Lord. Give me words to speak, Lord. Give me through Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray that you'd use this to help somebody tonight, Lord. 
Pray these things in your precious holy name. Amen. Amen. I had a sermon already and wanted to preach. I was real excited to preach it. The Lord kind of told me he didn't want me to preach that. and So I kind of, this is what I feel like he wanted me to preach. So, um, I want to take prophecies from the Old Testament concerning Jesus. Prophecies that we've seen prophesied in the Old Testament and see um, fulfilled during the New Testament. Um, and if you talk, turn with me to Genesis chapter 3 verse 15... says, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, and it shall bruise thy heel, and thou shalt bruise his heel. This prophecy is was prophesied that he would be of the seed of a woman. And in Galatians chapter four, verse four says, But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Um also in Luke chapter 2 verse 7 we find it fulfilled again that prophecy And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Um, Re- uh, Revelation also has, Revelation 12, 15 um, says that, talks about the same thing. It's fulfilled again. Revelation, let's see what I say now again. 12, 15. It says, And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Um, that was the first prophecy we see in the Bible, prophesying that Christ would be the seed of a woman. Then we have in Genesis 18, 18, says, Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. Genesis 12, 13 says that, Genesis 12, 13 says, Say, I pray thee, thou art my sister, that it may be well with me for my sake, soul, and my soul shall live because of thee. <clears throat> Sorry, that was 13, not 3. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Talking about Abraham, we have um, the... That prophecy was the promised seed of Abraham. We um, have it also in Acts, in Acts 3:25. We have it, we see it fulfilled, um, as it says, "Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed." Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 says, talks about the fulfillment. Of that prophecy. Forgot to turn my mic on. Sorry about that. Okay, Matthew chapter one, verse one says, "The book of the generations of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham." Um, son of David, the son of Abraham. Um, he is the fulfillment of seeing that the uh, of Genesis eighteen eighteen and um, 
Matthew, uh, Luke chapter 3, verse 34. It says... I like that Jesus put several in here. We have several fulfillments of the prophecies that they prophesied during the Old Testament. I believe these were true works of God that God was manifesting through these prophets that prophesied these prophecies that could have only been God. I don't care what other, anybody else says. Amen. The only one that could have done that. Um, Luke chapter 3 verse 34 says, Which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Thara, which was the son of Nacor. Talking about Jesus Christ. That um, so was the promised seed of Abraham. He was the promised seed of Abraham. Genesis seventeen nineteen says, And God said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son, indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his, with his seed after him. And this is the prophecy prophesied. Um, the promised seed of Isaac. He was promised seed of Jacob, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Matthew 1 2 says, Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob, and Jacob begat Judas and his brother. Um, the promised seed of Jacob is the fourth prophecy that we find in the Bible. And Numbers chapter 24, verse 17 says, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scripture um, shall rise out of his. Shall rise out of Israel. And shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of Sheth. Um, Luke, the, prop, prop, uh, the fulfillment of this prophecy was Luke 3.34 says, Which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Thara, which was the son of Nacor. Genesis um, 59.10, we find the scripture that shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet unto Shiloh, until Shiloh come. And unto, unto him shall the gathering of the people be. This prophecy um, is the, will, that Christ will descend from the tribe of Judah. In Luke 3, 3, 30, 33, we find the fulfillment, which is which was the son of Aminadab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Eshram, which was the son of Pharis which was the son of Judah. Um, that was our fifth prophecy that was prophesied and fulfilled from Genesis 49 to Luke 33. You can also find it in Matthew 1, 2, and 3 that was also fulfilled. But I'm not very good at the timelines enough. Jason, Uncle Jason, I know that you are, but I don't know how far apart that is. But these men prophesied, I don't know how many years, decades, I don't know how many, that we see prophecies of Christ. There's people out there that say that, believe in, uh, Michael, you did that soul in class, I've got to go like twice or something, but um, talking about, last time I was there, the last time you had it, about people believing that, only the, didn't believe in the New Testament, only the Old Testament. Well, we have prophecies all through these Old Testament that was fulfilled in the New Testament. So why would why would these people prophesy? And if they believe in that and they believe it's true, they should believe also that there was fulfillments that God would fulfill them. But it's crazy what people are thinking and believing. Um. We have Isaiah 9, 7 says, Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice for henceforth, ever, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Um, this prophecy, talking about Jesus, said that he would be the heir to the throne of David. Matthew 1 1 says, The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Again, we have the same verse we read earlier, but it prophesies this. It's the fulfillment of this prophecy, too. It says he's the son of David, the son of Abraham. 
Um, we're starting to get into the better stuff. That was kind of the... But um, in uh, Micah 5.2 says, But thou Bethlehem, Ephrathi, how do you say that? Um, Though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from old, from of old, from everlasting. Um, I'm so thankful God brought Jesus into the world, into a small, the small town of Bethlehem, instead of in Jerusalem. Um, Matthew chapter 2 verse 1 says, Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, prof- that's the fulfillment of that prophecy, he said he was prophesied, um, the place of his birth was prophesied here in Bethlehem. But thou Bethlehem, there will be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is, to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from old, from everlasting. And it's fulfilled right here. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. You can also find that in, in Luke 2, 4, 7, verse 4 through 7. That was also fulfilled, but in the time of Jesus' birth was prophesied um, in Daniel 9.25 and it says that now therefore and understand know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the prince shall be seven weeks and three score and two weeks the street shall be built again and the wall even in troubles times I like talking about the seven weeks. Um, we know that seven is the number for Jesus. Um, Messiah also has seven, seven letters in it. I just think it's kind of cool. But we have, that was the time of his birth, the prophecy of the time of his birth. Seven weeks and three score and two weeks. And now, Luke chapter 2, verse 1 and 2 says, And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that, that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Serenus was governor of Syria. Now we know that, come over here, and it, so that, is the pro, that was the prof, fulfillment of the prophecy from Daniel 9.25. Um, it was prophesied that he would be born of a virgin in Isaiah 7.14. It says, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel Matthew 1 verse 18 said now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when his, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together she was found a child of the Holy Ghost in uh, Jeremiah 31 15 we have the prophecy of the massacre of the infants it says thus saith the Lord a voice that was heard in Ramah and lamentation and bitter weeping and Rahel weeping for her children refused to be comforted for her children because they were not we see this prophecy fulfilled in Matthew 2 16 then says then Herod when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men was exceeding wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem here's Herod trying to kill all the babies in Bethlehem just so that he pretty much wouldn't be wrong and he didn't want to have to face up to Jesus Christ he knew that we had back here we have said that he shall be the um, he shall be the ruler over Israel his people um, Herod didn't want that he was he was ruler and he didn't want to let up to have somebody else ruler so he was trying to kill him kill all of us and there's other reasons too I'm not going to go into each and every one of them but and in all it says, and in all the coasts thereof, from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Um, we have in Hosea 11, 1, it says, When Israel was a child, then I loved him and called my son out of Egypt. Matthew 2, 14 says, When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night, and departed into Egypt. 
the fulfillment of the flight into Egypt. We've seen um, Isaiah 9, 1, 1 and 2, verse 1 and 2, it says, Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as was in her vexation, when at the first he lightly affliction, at, sorry, when at first he lightly afflicted the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, and afterward did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death upon them hath the light shined. Um, we have here we have the um, grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. We have the light says that the light is going to be shined upon them hath the light shined. In Matthew 4:12 through 16 says now when Jesus had heart had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee and leave and leaving Nazareth he came and dwelt in Capernaum, which is now this which is upon the sea coast on the borders of Zabulon and Nephilim, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, The land of Zebulun and the land of Nephilim, by the way of the sea, beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people which sat in the darkness saw great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death light is sprung up. Um, we have the prophesied as a mystery in Galilee and fulfilled. We have um, Deuteronomy 8.15 says, The Lord thy God will raise up thee, unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, unto him ye shall hearken. Um, he was prophesied to be a prophet in that verse. In John 6.14 says, those men, Then those men, when they had seen the miracle that Jesus did, said, This is of truth of that prophet that should come into the world. Um, we have... Psalms 110, says, 110 verse 4 says, The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest for the ever after the order of Melchizedek. Um, he was prophesied to be the priest after the order of Melchizedek. In Hebrews 6.20 we have, Whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus, made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Um, we, have, we see him prophesied as as um, he was rejected by the Jews that was prophesied and foretold in Isaiah 11 2 it was prophesied some of his characteristics and in Luke 2 52 it was fulfilled in Zechariah 9 9 he was prof his triumphal entry was prophesied and in John 12 13 and 14 it was fulfilled Psalms 41 9 says um, prophesied the, betray the betrayal by a friend of and in Mark 14:10 we have the pro the fulfillment. In Zechariah 11:12 we have the prophecy sold of 30 pieces of silver. And in Matthew 26:15 we have the fulfillment. In Zechariah 11:13 there's a prophecy the prof um a prophet prophesied of the money to be returned for a potter's field. And in Matthew 27, 6 and 7 we have the pro uh, fulfillment. In Psalms 109 verse 7 and 8 we have um, the prophecy of Judas his office to be taken by another. And in Acts 1, 18 through 20, we have the fulfillment. In Psalms 27, 12, we have the prophecy of the false witness accuse him, witnesses accuse him. Um, in Matthew 26, 60 through 61, 60 and 61, we have that fulfillment. We have the silent, the prophecy in Isaiah 53 of the silent, that Jesus would be silent when he was accused. We've seen that fulfilled in Matthew. We've seen Isaiah 50, chapter 50 says, um, said that we'd be smitten and spat upon and in Mark that was fulfilled in Psalms ch chapter 69 verse 4 says he would be hated without a cause and in John 15 23 through 25 and through his entire ministry we can see that he was hated but um, here and there and um, in John 15 23 and 25 we have that fulfillment we have Isaiah chapter 53 he was um, prophesied that he would suffer and in Matthew 8, 16, and 17, we have that fulfillment. We have the prophecy of the crucified, that he would be crucified of sinners. We have the prophecy that he hands and feet would be pierced. We have the prophecy that he would be mocked and insulted. We have the prophecy that would be given gal and vinegar. 
we have the prophecy that um, um, the prophetic words repeated in mockery. He would have words repeated in mockery. Um, we have prayers of his um, prophesied in Psalms 109. We have prophesied that he would pray for his enemies. In Luke 23-34, that was fulfilled. Um, in Zechariah, we have his side um, prophesied that his side would be pierced. And in John, it was fulfilled. In Psalms, we had um, it said that soldiers would cast lots for his coat. And in Mark, that was fulfilled. We have prophesied that not a bone would be broken. We have prophesied that um, he would be buried with the rich. And we have prophesied his resurrection and his ascension. We have all these prophecies, Old Testament and their fulfillments in the New Testament. And um, the Gospel of John gives a portrait of Christ. Chapter 1 gives him as the Son of God. Chapter 2 gives him as the Son of Man. And chapter 3 gives him as the Divine Chief Teacher. And chapter 4, the Soul Winner. And chapter 5, the Great Physician. And chapter 6, the Bread of Life. The water of life, the defender of the weak, the light of the world, the good shepherd, the resurrection and the life, the king, the assumes the, he assumes the place of a servant. He is the counselor. He is the true vine. He is the giver of the spirit. He is the great intercessor. He is the model sufferer. He is the uplifted savior. savior. He is the victor over death. And he's the restorer of the um, petition. Um, <coughs> we have... All these books in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four Gospels, each gives a portrait of Christ. Not going to go into each and every one of them. But um, we have these fulfillments, um, prophecies in their fulfillments, all through the Bible, that I would encourage you to take and study study out what they mean, what, what they are. It's really cool, really neat what they... How, all the prophecies, how they... How they inter how they lock together through the Word, through what the Bible says, through Jesus' life, and there's so many more. I didn't even read a bunch of these verses, um, and there's so many more that I knew I wouldn't have time to read. But I would encourage you to do a study on it. Um, well, I guess that's all I got. <laughs> that were fulfilled is uh, outside by a million miles that it could just happen. It didn't just happen, it was prophesied and it was fulfilled. You're plowing up a big field of corn right there, young man. But that's how you get it plowed to start plowing. It's good. Uh